In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to create circular progress bars for your fitness videos and also how to place it around your circle video just like this. Let's get started. So this we already have our timeline. With this, go to the left side of the software, click on test, drag default test in the timeline. Make sure you click on that, then go to the right side, delete default test, then type in dot. Now increase the font size, let's go to somewhere 300, let's drag it up and make sure it's right in the middle. With the font style, we're going to leave it just like it is. And also with the color, let's change that to green, we'll change that very soon, you know why we're choosing green. Then scroll down, with stroke, select that. And this time around, choose the color you want it to be stroke. So with this tutorial, go with white. When you're using the stroke, make sure you don't choose green. And now with the thickness, we'll just dial it down. So this is going to determine how you want your circular bar size to be. With mine, I just want it to be somewhere 8. So the next important tip, if you want your circular progress bar to be terminated, this is the stage you need to decide because from here you can't really go back to it. So with this, let's say, let me go to the left side, click on media, and this is the video I'm going to use. So I'll just drag it down. So let's say my video is 20 minutes, so I want my progress bar to be also 20 minutes. So with this, I'll just drag it and make sure it's 20 minutes because from here we can't really go back. So with this done, I'll just click on my video and press V to disable it. Now right click on the test and create compound clip. With the compound clip selected, go to the right side of the software, click on cutout and click on chroma key. Now select the color picker and select the green part. Increase the green part so we can take the green part out. So now we just have our white stroke. Now click on that, Command C or Control C to copy, then Command V or Control V to paste on top of it. Click on the down one, press V to disable it for now. Then click on the top one, go to the right side of the software, click on mask, then select split. And with this split, just turn it to 90 degrees. So now we have something like this. Let me just drag this down a little bit. Then click on that, press V to disable it for now. And click on this down one, press V to enable it. Then go to the right side, select split. And this time around, turn it to minus 90 degrees. So you can see when I, let me turn the top one on now, V. You can see this is the half of it and this also the half of it. Now make sure you select the top one, go to the very first frame of it, take your playhead there and make sure you select the top one. Then go to the right side, still under mask, make a keyframe on rotate. Then go to the last frame, make sure you take your playhead there and also make sure you've selected the top one. Then with rotate, put the figure 450 degrees. So this means the split is gonna rotate full circle. So now we have something like this. And now go to where the circle hits right in the middle. So somewhere here. So this is the middle of my, make sure you are really in the middle. When you're in the middle, you will see this line straight crossing the two. Now with that, click on the down video. B to bring your blade tool out and cut right there. Now press A to bring the normal cursor out. Then select this second one and delete that. So now we have this and also this. Now go to the left side of the software, click on test, drag default test in the timeline. Place it somewhere here, stretch it to make it the same length as this. Then with that, go to the right side, delete default test and type in caps O. Now let's increase that. Let's scroll up and increase the font size of it. So something like this looks pretty cool. Then with the color, select green color. Let me place it, we want it to cover the white so we can move it to really cover the white. With this still selected, make a compound clip of it. Create compound clip. Make sure you click on the green one go to the right side of the software, click on mask and then click on split. Now rotate that to 90 degrees. Now the next step, go to your browser and type in green image. So we're just gonna download any green image that we can get. So now just click on the media and click on the folder and I have my green image already there, drag and drop in the media side. Then later on drag the green screen below it and stretch it to fill the whole screen. The next step, just delete the video. We don't need the video now, so we just delete it below and take the green to the main timeline. So now we have something like this. The white comes in 
and also the green comes on this side good now click on the green image make sure it's covering the whole screen if it's not covering just go to basic and increase the scale or the size of it so it will cover the whole screen it's really important step now with that done go to export and let's name it choose the folder where you want to save it i'll save it in download click open and also with the resolution you can choose 1080p or 4k i'll go with 1080p and i'm editing with 24 frames per second so i'll leave it just like that leave formats just like that and click on export now click on folder and it's going to take you right where you save it let's come back here and cancel that now with this done just delete this once and go to the folder where you save it drag and drop in the timeline let me bring the video below so we can work with this so this is the video i'm going to place on drag this and move it up let's make it the same length as this now click on the top one the one we just imported go to the right side of the software click on cut out then click on chroma key select color picker and select the green side now increase that so all the green disappear on the screen so with this i can go to somewhere 80 and now i'll play and show you guys what we have so from here you can just reduce the size of it and place it anywhere on your screen so let's say if you want to place it at this top corner we can place it there and i'll play and show you guys also you can see this is going clockwise so let's say if you want it to go counterclockwise just right click on that select edit and click on reverse now i'll show you guys you can see it goes the opposite direction so one cool way that you can play around this is let's click on this command c or control c to copy then command v or control v to paste on top of it now select the top one that we just created press v to disable it for now and take your playhead to the very first frame and select the down one now right click on that go to edit and select freeze it's going to freeze the first frame of it now click on this very one and delete that we don't need that we just need the freeze frame now stretch the freeze frame and as you can see it's a full white circular bar with that selected go to the right side click on basic then scroll down on opacity take it to somewhere 30 to 40 and now click on the top one press v to enable it and i'll show you guys what we have so as you can see we have the thick white circular bar going around and also the opaque one showing a transparent one looks so cool with this kind of effect and now how to place it around your circle videos so with this we have a talking head of me just drag and drop in the timeline let's make the circle progress bar the same length as this and click on the down video then go to the right side of the software click on mask and then click on circle let me disable the top circular bar press v to disable it and click on the down video now let's expand the circle to somewhere like this make sure you place yourself in the middle then right click on the talking head video and create compound clip now with the compound clips created go to the right side click on basic and reduce the size of it now click on the circular progress bar and press V to enable it with that selected let's just increase the size of it so it will go around our talking head video and I'll play and show you guys how it looks like so when explaining what this parameter is, is all about so from here you can just select all of them right click that and group it and let me bring one video down here and bring this up so this will go below it and because we've grouped this together we can reduce the size of it and place it anywhere on the screen so something like this and play and show you guys this next video will show you how to edit your short just like ali abdal in capcut pc catch you guys on the next one peace